Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at finding the slope between two points using the slope formula. So we have find the slope between the following pairs of points and let's start with negative 2, 1 and 4, negative 2. So to find the slope between any pair of points x1, y1 and x2, y2 we could use the equation m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we get started by setting up this equation we have y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And what we could do is we could designate one of these points to be x1, y1, and we could designate the other point to be x2, y2. So if we say negative 2, 1 is x1, y1, then that means we have an x1 value. We look at the x coordinate of this point, and we have an x coordinate of negative 2. So we have x1 is equal to negative 2, y1 is equal to positive 1. So now we look and we designate an x2, y2. So we could set x2 equal to 4, since the x coordinate of the second point is equal to 4. And now we have a y2 of negative 2. So now all we need to do is just substitute these four values into the slope equation to find the slope between these two points. So now we have m equals, and now y2, we're just going to substitute. We have y2 is negative 2. So negative 2 minus y1. y1, we, said, we set that equal to 1. And now divided by x2 minus x1, we have an x2 of 4. And we have a x1 of negative 2. So we have minus x1. But be careful here because it's minus a minus 2. So just make sure that you have both of those negatives accounted for. So now the next step will be to simplify. We have m equals... And now negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. And in the denominator, we have 4 minus a negative 2. Well, we have minus a negative number, so we're going to turn this into an addition problem. And now we have 4 plus 2 is 6. So now this fraction will reduce. We have negative 3 over 6. This will reduce to negative 1 half. So the slope between these two points, negative 2, 1, and 4, negative 2, is negative 1 half. So now we're going to use the slope equation again to find the slope between negative 5, negative 4, and 4, negative 1. So what we could do is we could designate our x1, y1, and our x2, y2. So let's say our x1 we could set equal to negative 5. Our y1 we could set equal to negative 4. We could set our x2 equal to 4. And finally we could set our y2 equal to negative 1. So now once again we're going to use this slope equation. So we have m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So now what we need to do is we're just going to substitute. We have y2 minus y1, so we have negative 1 minus negative 4 divided by x2 minus x1. So x2 we're going to substitute 4 minus x1 is negative 5. So now to simplify, we have negative 1 minus a minus 4. Well, we can turn these two minus signs into addition signs since we're subtracting a negative. And now negative 1 plus 4 is a positive 3. So we have 3 over, and now 4 minus a minus 5. This turns into an addition problem, and we have 4 plus 5 is 9. So our slope in this case is equal to 3 over 9, but we do need to reduce. So we have a slope of 1 third when we reduce 3 over 9. So when you're first learning how to find the slope between two points, I do recommend writing all the steps out, x1, y1, x2, y2. But as you develop fluidity with this technique, you will just be able to look at the points and set up this step here for whatever pair of points you're finding the slope between. Okay, well this is going to conclu conclude this slope video. Thank you all for watching and I hope this video was helpful.